Homies, this is AFK Journey, a fantasy RPG idol game made by Lilith Games, the creators of AFK Arena. They just had their official release on March 27th, releasing on iOS, the Google Store, and even on PC from their official website. And they have been kind enough to sponsor this video. So huge shout outs to AFK Journey. And if you'd like to download AFK Journey for yourself, we've got download links down below in the pinned comment or the description of the video. You can get started today. So in this video, I wanna highlight some of the things that AFK Journey has to offer. I wanna give you guys some tips for progressing as early players, and I wanna break down some of my favorite characters and favorite modes in AFK Journey. So once again, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. So AFK Journey's main gameplay revolves around three things. First is exploring the side-scrolling world that we can see here, finding treasure chests, completing quests, and progressing the main story quest. The second is character progression, okay? Leveling up your characters, leveling up your teams, getting new characters, and then third is, of course, the combat. So the combat in AFK Journey is simple, but it is very fun. You can see all the characters that I own at the bottom of the screen. The ones with the green check marks are the ones that I have deployed right now, and you can see them right here on this hex grid. So let's say I want to take out the zombie guy and put in the cool assassin girl. There she is. But then I can move them around. And moving your characters around is one of the most important things you can do in AFK Journey because your units are going to just automatically start attacking when you start the battle. So here we go, I'll start it up. And as you can see, they're just gonna go auto fight each other. They are going to use their ultimate whenever they can. That's that yellow bar under their health bar, the green one. They're just gonna automatically do that. You can manually do your ultimate at the bottom of the screen if you feel like it. I personally haven't really had to mess with that very much. You know, I just kind of let it play out, but yeah. Back to the positioning, it's the most important thing you could possibly do. It is the big make or break thing. Sometimes you can't beat a fight, but if you change up the position, it's gonna make the AI do exactly what you want and you'll actually be able to do it. So like I said, it is very straightforward, but it is very addicting. I actually have a ton of fun with it. And once you start understanding what all the different characters you have on your account do, you can start, you know, making really fun synergies and team comps. Back to traversing the map though, this would be my first big tip to new players. Make sure that you explore the map of AFK Journey to the fullest, find all that treasure, and of course, complete the main story quest. Through doing all this, you're going to unlock a ton of character EXP, hero essence that makes your characters get leveled up even more, and of course, diamonds, a very valuable resource that we are going to use to get new characters. You can check the map by clicking up here in the top corner and you are going to be able to see a bird's eye view of the entire map, which is very helpful because you can see teleport points that you can teleport over to. They're called waystones. You can see, you know, certain fights that you haven't done, corrupt creature here, and you can even see treasure chests that you haven't picked up yet. So exploring, very important. The map, very helpful. And next up is leveling your characters. But before all that, let's do some summons, okay? I've been saving all my diamonds and my invite letters for right now. After you do 30 pulls, you're gonna unlock some cool features such as the rate up banner and this wish list. So let's just grip and rip a temple right now. Come on, baby. Two epics is pretty good though. So I'll take that. Who we got? By my life and honor, okay. Lucy is super good. I use them all the time. So we take those. I'm here. Yes, dude, she's heart. so sick. I've been wanting this character. I think she's one of the coolest characters in the game. So I'm getting pretty darn lucky. All right, I just skipped, but there we go. Not bad, I'm definitely gonna use her. All right, so the game made me do a temple when it was doing the tutorial. So I think after this, that is our 30 pulls and I can show you guys the wish list and we can go for uh, that hot assassin chick. But here we go, come on now. Gold, baby, gold. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Who is this guy? Coming. This guy is the, the highest rarity. I got the, the gob. I almost said goblin. <laughs> Smokey and Mirky. All right, they're cute. Hey, but we got the uh, pretty bow and arrow bunny lady. She's cool. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. When you get to 30 summons, there we go. You got a wish list, which is sick. This is like one of the coolest features of the game. So pretty much Mauler, Light Bear, Wilder, Graveborn. You can choose like some of them that you don't have. I want the night girl and I want Cassidy. That's my most wanted unit right there. 
So there we go. After 30 wishes, you can make your own wish list, which means if you get a, you know, S level hero or A level hero, it's gonna be one of these from your wish list. Let's say I really want the mage chick and Faye. It's not guaranteed because I could just get these other characters on the wish list, but it's still a very useful feature that you're gonna be just continuously getting at least a group of eight characters that you really want. So like a lot of different gacha games, this is a rate up invite letter. So as you can see, I have, when you go over to the other banner, I have 22 of these. And this is an epic recruitment. I got 20 of those, but I actually have no rate up letters. So just gonna have to use my diamonds, which I'm down. Let's grip and rip a couple of pulls. Oh, I think it said she was guaranteed 40 pulls. No. no. I'm here. Oh, we got the dupe. Dude, Sylvina, she loves me. Let's go. Feels good, man. Oh my God, it's all the same squirrel. Only 30 more to go? Bet. Okay, I got zombie man. The same guy again. Vala, come on home, baby girl. Mm -hmm. There it is. And two epics, too. Who wishes to oh, mama. Let's go. <laughs> oh. you know hey, me? there she is. Let's go. Do you know me? She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's like prim and proper by day kill stuff by night we got one more epic I strike to defend. oh my god i got the mommy temple right there okay dudes with all of these sylvinas i have and she's like legitimately my favorite character so watch this she's elite this will take her to elite plus so it takes three tokens to get her to an epic hero literally already upgraded to an epic hero not bad and then i need uh two more to get her to the next one that's the really cool part about the gacha is like you can focus in on these characters you can focus in on a group of characters and eventually start getting them up to epic to mythic etc um it's pretty cool so looking at my characters here you can see that every single character i own is level 60 and i did not individually invest in every single character on my account this is because of the resonance level system you can see it right here at the top 60. the resonance level is pretty much the lowest level of the five characters you have in your party right here you can see every single character i have is level 60. if i were to level up one of them here to 61 you will see my resonance level stays 60. it matches with the lowest level character i love this system because it pretty much means that the progression that i make into this account is permanent and it follows me no matter what characters i'm using if i pull a brand new character they are level 60 right out of the box it's an extremely helpful system and it really makes me feel like all my progression is never wasted so with that do not be afraid to level up characters keep that resonance level high it's gonna help everybody so my next early game tip is to raise your afk level as high as you possibly can as soon as you can it's in the bottom left corner you see the little chippy the squirrel guy so right here these are your afk rewards you get these just for playing the game having an account okay it says i've been afk for two hours click collect and i get all of this great stuff but if i want to raise my afk level which is permanent you just have to do a little trial battle so i'm gonna click battle right here i know that my team is gonna you know whoop these guys so i'm just gonna click battle and so after i win this battle my afk level is going up to 76 raising the passive rewards that i get these are all great things i'm talking gold character exp hero essence diamonds all that good stuff you want all this so let's get that level up as high as you possibly can and i'm gonna win here but if i were to lose i do not lose anything there is no punishment so i can just keep going in trying and trying and trying again and it is very worth your time definitely something i recommend also make sure to collect your rewards every day no matter what time it is okay just grab them because free stuff is cool so let me tell you some of my favorite characters in the game right now i'll start with sylvina pretty much she looks awesome so i already like her for that but she's an assassin so she's going to jump to the back line of the enemies and just start killing those squishy targets like mages and stuff that want to hide back there the assassins go take them out so i already like them for that and she looks really cool so she's one of my favorites next up is cessia so she is a marksman so she attacks from range she's also graveborn just like sylvina which you know you can see they're green they're undead whatever it's a faction if you have three characters of the same faction your entire team is going to get boosted stats so i mean cessia and sylvina that 
that's two of the three that you need. So they already synergize together. So she attacks some range, which is great. But then when her ultimate goes off, she summons this like giant undead golem guy. And where he summons, he like snares everybody. He does a bunch of damage. He like draws aggro to him. So he's really cracked. And so is Cecia. And uh, yeah, I like her a lot. The final character I want to highlight is Lucius or Lucius, however you want to say it. So this guy is a tank. I put him in the front every single time. He goes in, he puts up big shields for himself, shields for the allies around him. It seems really useful to have a tank. He's just my comfort character. So Lucius, big homie. But obviously there are tons of characters in this game. I don't even have very many characters. So start playing around with them, find your favorite. And of course, remember to level up your resonance level to use whoever you want. On the topic of getting new characters for the release of AFK Journey, they are doing a login bonus, giving away an elite hero every single day for 34 days because they are giving away one of every single individual elite hero. So if your favorite character is Muriel here or Laika, you are going to be able to get them guaranteed just by logging in. And they're also giving away an S level hero after 28 logins, 56 logins, pretty much. They're giving away a lot of great stuff for this release. And if these are your favorite, you're gonna get them guaranteed. And there's also just a ton of free summons that they are handing out to us, okay? Right here, this is a login bonus, Journey's Gift, temple after temple after temple, okay? You get a lot of great stuff through quests. You get a lot of great stuff through the mail. So if you guys do decide to download AFK Journey, just expect they're being pretty darn generous on release, giving away a lot of good stuff. For my competitive gamers out there, if there are three main competitive modes to choose from, let's go over them. So first right here is the Dream Realm. Pretty much, you go in and you fight a different monster that changes every day. You can see it's gonna end in 19 hours. This will be a different monster. You go in, you battle this guy and you try to do as much of his HP as possible. You can see that I did 90% on the first time I went in. If I get to 95, I'm going to get a free pull. If I can fully take him out, I'm going to get two free pulls from that. So yeah, it tracks your progress. And depending on how well you do every day, you get rewards. Now, Dream Realm is a PvE game mode, okay? You're just playing against a random monster they give you every day, but the arena is PvP. You go in and you're pretty much going to fight against somebody's predetermined defense that they created all right so we can click journey woman here you can see the five characters that they chose and then they chose the position that they wanted to put their units in and you need to try and defeat their defense if you beat them you win and you rank up and if you lose you don't actually lose rank i believe you do lose one of your daily plays that you have that day but it's important to do the arena because you get a lot of juicy rewards here let me find them so you get daily rewards like this you get weekly rewards and then the first First time you ever rank up, you get 800 diamonds for this one, 830 for the next one, 870 for the next one. So this is very important. You should probably get used to doing the arena every single day to get those daily rewards and to unlock some of these juicy diamonds. So last but certainly not least is my personal favorite game mode, the Honor Duel. This is another PVP game mode, but instead of using the characters on your account, you don't use anything like that you use what the game gives you this is a roguelike game mode so you're going to go in you're going to have a shop and you're going to have these coins you can buy random units or buy weapons or buy like random units stuff like that and you're going to piece together this team through the shop that the game gives you and then you are going to fight against other players you know teams that they make too i just love these kinds of game modes because you don't have to have the OP characters on your account. You don't have to be super high level. Everybody is on even footing. It's just down to skill, decision-making, and trying to get those juicy nine wins. There's also a lot of social aspects to the game, like joining a guild that I'm in right now, or you know, adding friends. You can send and receive gifts to your friends every day and get rewards like that. So if you've got a squad that's looking to play, there's lots of different things that you guys can do together, and uh, I think that's really cool. So AFK Journey has been a ton of fun so far, and you can really tell that they put a lot of heart and soul into this game. All right, so if you guys wanna play AFK Journey for free, Check out the download links down below. We got it in the description. We got it in the pinned comment. It's for iOS, Google Store, and the PC client. You love to see it. Once again, huge shout outs to AFK Journey for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you supporting little old me. And guys, if you guys wanna go show them some love, uh, I would appreciate that very much, okay? But hey, 
Shout out to y'all for watching the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys oh so very much. Like, comment, sub. It really does make a big difference. All right. Shout outs to the patrons who support your boy as much as they do. I appreciate you guys oh so very much. And hey, come check out the Twitch. I stream minimum five days a week. It is always a fun time. And you know, you can get a little bit more of that Eeks content live. So guys, with that, I am going to salute you guys and head on out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one.